So today I've got something a little bit different. Simono, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, have sent me one of their gaming chairs. This retails for about 199 euros on their website. I'll leave links in the description below. And I believe this is their gray breathable color. These chairs have leg rests and head supports as well as lumbar supports. So I'm quite interested to get this open and take a look. So let's start the unbox. So looking at the box information, it is the gray chair and we're looking at a net weight of 21.5 kilograms, which I, I think is just the chair weight. So it's a pretty heavy one. Uh, my only worry is the legs being metal or plastic. I've had quite a few plastic leg chairs and they do break because I'm a big, big man and metal is always better. But we'll have a look. Let's get it undone. I'll try not to cut into the chair. So they are plastic legs, but it is quite heavy duty plastic, really thick. I shouldn't think that'll be breaking unless you're trying to break it. Just on first appearances. We've got one leg missing though. Um, so I, I hope that's in the box. And then here we've got one of the Simono pillows. So I think this is the head pillow. So the fabric does feel quite nice. It's very suede -y. I think it is a faux fur. Um, but yeah, that's it feels very, very suede -y. Premium material. Uh, stitches are nice, it's very tight stitched. So it doesn't look like any, any loose stitching or you know, it's poorly put together. Nice elastic strap with a clip. Okay, in this little box here, looks like we might have the lumbar support cushion. Again, with the Simono branding. Feels like it's got really nice cushion support here. Not sure what the actual cushion material is Having a feel, I wouldn't say it's anything like memory foam, um, but it's, it's not far off the feel of memory foam. It's quite firm. Uh, we do have zips on both of these cushions as well, so you could take off the cover and wash if you needed to. Still, again, that nice suede feel of the faux fur. Okay, here we've got the bottom part of our seat with our hydraulic raise and lower button. And here we've got, I think this is one of our arms, which are fully adjustable. Let's take this packaging off quick. So we should have some buttons here we can raise and that will allow us to rotate the arms once we've attached them. It says this is quite easy to assemble as well. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see when I've got it all out, how long it takes me. But this part itself is really thick metal. This is solid metal here. It's about a quarter of an inch. Um, this part here is plastic. So here's the backrest portion of the seat. We've got the Simono symbol on the front and on the back says Simono in right in there. Just checking over the stitching, it is all very neatly and tightly stitched with that same nice suede effect. You can see where I'm brushing my fingers across where it changes. And these look like our armrests, which are a nice soft rubbery plastic feel with a metal inside. Looks like again, a very nice premium coating. So looking at these, they're not far off my expensive gaming chair that I use. Uh, this I would say is like the mid range to upper mid range uh, for a gaming chair. Uh, I do have some that are kind of low range all the way up to the higher 500 euro price point. This is about the mid range to upper mid range and these are very similar material to my expensive gaming chair, which is good to see. And I'm already feeling this is where most of the weight is. And on the good side, I'm seeing a lot of metal. So this is our cushion, and it does feel very similar to a memory foam. It's got, it's quite thick, thickly padded there. Again, looking around the stitching, I don't see any issues with the stitching. We just had our leg rest pop out there. Nearly took my fingers off. So this seems to adjust by pulling out and then we should be able to flip that round and that's where we're, our legs rest. And all my concern is how tough this is. Seems okay pulling on it with my arms, but how well is it gonna do in actual use? We'll find that out. It slides away and it is made of metal. I really hope you can see the, the quality of the metal here and the finish paintwork. It's very clean and the metal is very thick. We've got another box here with, I guess, all the bolts and tools that we'll need to assemble. Just open my knife, give this a bit of a cut. 
So these two brackets I've just taken out, these will be your recline brackets for the backrest once it's all attached. So you can lay back and forwards and put your legs up and things like that. Very robust spring there, very big. And again, all finished in a very nice coat of paint. Some plastic coverings to hide all the metal components. And this must be our missing leg, which we must remember to put on. Otherwise we'd be laying on our back. And lastly in our box, we've got some screws to tie it all together, Allen keys, and some caps to hide all of the screws. And a manual. So inside our manual, we should have all of our instructions on how to build, as well as all the components we should have in the box. But uh, I don't need instructions, because who does? So that is everything we get in the box, all piled up. I'm gonna snap my fingers, and magically, it's gonna be built. We'll see how long it takes. So now this is all together. You can hear that nice click. For adjustments, we've got that button on the side so we can raise and lower our arms. We've got our headrest cushion here, which is just tied in there. And we've got our lumbar support cushion here. And the structure of this chair, I'm actually quite impressed with for the price point, 199 euros it is very, comparable to something one to 200 euros more from uh, compares. How they can do this type of chair for this price is, uh, I, I, I just don't know. And the, uh, the only, my only worries are, will this leg rest be okay? Well, as I'm a larger bloke, uh, I might end up letting my wife use this just because I think my weight might be a bit much for that pushing on it. but it does fold away quite nicely. My only other concern will be those plastic legs, just because I've had bad experiences with the plastic legs before, and I've had to buy metal replacements. Um, I ended up on my back, um, but these are a bit of a heftier plastic, so hopefully we don't have that issue, but there is always that choice of upgrading with the third party uh, leg system if you are concerned. So we've also got a recline lever here, which we can pull to recline ourselves back as well as our height adjustment lever here so i'm going to sit on it now and see if it, it doesn't collapse under my weight so looking at these arms they do have a little bit of play in them before you click them and set them there is a little bit of play but that's not i'm putting a bit of weight on there and they're not budging they're not flexing there are two screws holding these in the only problem is they do not slide forwards and backwards so as long as you're okay with that position obviously you can raise it a bit more lower it i prefer it high so i can rest my arms while I'm playing. So they should take some weight. They're, they're taking my weight anyway. Uh, other than that, we've got recline, so let's try that now. That is working as expected. It's locked in. Now I'm gonna risk it with the leg rest. Put my legs up. So I am feeling a bit of, bit of flex with the leg rest, the metal, because it is attached via plastic, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but you'd have to, again, give it some force and be intending to break it, I think. Uh, over time, will we'll be a different story. With wear and tear from sitting in it, using it over and over again, I don't think the leg rest will be something most people would use a lot. You'd just be sitting in it to play. You won't be relaxing back like this a lot, I don't think, uh, for most people at least. I know I wouldn't. This would just be if you didn't have anywhere to sit, if you had visitors and you wanted to chill a bit or something and have a chat. Um, probably show it off a little bit maybe, but yeah, it's definitely flexing under the weight of my legs. 
but it is comfortable. And I'm not sure if it's memory foam in this seat. It has a good amount of firmness, but enough cushion that I don't think I'd get like butt ache. You know, your, your coccyx starts to hurt if you're on a harder seat for, for longer periods of gaming time. Uh, I used to have to use a cushion even on my expensive chair that I use um, just because of my butt aches after long hours of gaming. Um, but this actually feels better than my expensive chair. Um, so again, I don't know how they do it. They've got some expensive um, materials on this, really well built for this price point of 199 euros. And the quality, the stitching, the, the fabric being that faux fur suede feel uh, is super high quality. I'd say this is a, a good purchase if you wanted that mid-range chair uh, with a premium feel. Um, Simono have, uh, have, have done a good job. You can get these in leather as well, a faux leather and uh, different colors. So I'll leave links to this chair in the description below. But let me know your thoughts on this Simono gaming chair. I am quite impressed. The build quality for that price point is uh, very comparable to those more expensive competitors, as I've said. Uh, also, these do go on sale quite often uh, with a 30% off roughly every now and then. So do keep an eye out for that. There is one actually going on as of the recording of this video. I couldn't tell you when uh, that's going to end, but you can get an extra 30% off at the moment on their website. So let me know your thoughts on the Simono gaming chair with the faux suede. And are you looking for a new gaming chair to replace your old failing gaming chair? And is this within your budget? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content and reviews that I create. Most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.